I'm setting up an ambush for these scouts that a town just sent out. This is going to dwindle their numbers before I assault their fortress. We have so many different adventures for you guys today. I have a lot to do. Lots of changes going on in the village. And here we go. I'm going to loose on the naked guy. Boop. There we go. Naked guy's down and out. I've been reading books to level up my archery, which is obviously coming in handy. Hey, you might want to, like, pull out a sword when he's two inches away from you, bud. It might help. All right, let me get in on this. You just have some problems fighting today, Roan, huh? Jeez, come here. Let me bandage you, buddy. Eagle. And let's loot these two guys before we hit their fortress. This video is sponsored by World of Warships. Immerse yourself in thrilling naval battles aboard history's most iconic battleships, destroyers, aircraft carriers, and cruisers. And if the depths call to you, you can even use the new class of submarines. You can play as a lone wolf or in a division with your friends. New content is released every single month, whether it be new ships, in-game nations, cosmetics, or ship classes. You can always count on enjoying some new and fresh gameplay every time you log into World of Warships. And my personal favorite part, Immersion. The game is stunning, and with over 40 unique maps with dynamic weather, it's never the same game every time. The game is completely free. You can download it with my link in the top of the description down below. Use invite code BRAVO and you will receive a 7-day premium account, 1.5 million credits and 500 doubloons, and a free ship after you complete 10 battles. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and download the game. Top link in the description down below. Thank you to World of Warships for sponsoring today's video. Oh, and did I mention that the World of Warships is now on console? Go check it out. As you can tell, they're a little stacked up over here. I need their food before I head into an even stronger war. We're going to be assaulting our first tier 2 fortress today. Because the town of Padstow has been having bandit issues. And it turns out that if I have too many people from the same town recruited into the same village, the morale of the people goes down. They call me a carpetbagger, which is ridiculous, but I guess it makes sense. And they just sent out another scout group, but I think I'm going to just kind of ignore that and just assault the fortress, because if we take the fortress over, they won't be sending out any more of those scout groups and we won't have an issue anymore. But we need to make sure the scout group is far enough away to not aggro us. So that way we don't get absolutely pwned by a full-blown army. But this is the largest tier one on the map. So we'll see how this goes. I missed the first arrow. That's not good. Um, you getting into melee range with a bow? That seems like some cocky attitude, my guy. Yeah, I'm going to go for the archers in the back. You guys deal with that frontliner. Dodged it. Don't mind me. One archer down. I'm pushing in. Ben Durham got knocked out as usual. <coughs> Roan is the real homie. Ben Durham always gets knocked out. I'm out of stamina. <coughs> Bob, weave. If you could dodge an arrow, you could dodge a ball. <coughs> there we go. Down and out. Poor Ben. That's fine, though. We're used to Ben dying. What do you got in here? I need your good food, please. All right, I got some fur and pelts. Um... Rowan, I need you to carry a little bit of stuff. Here's some extra arrows for you. Good job, good job. And then I'm going to grab some fur and some pelts. We don't need to claim the flag because the place has been cleared. And now we'll no longer get attacked from this fortress. i got to loot all the dead people on the outside too. There's another Rowan right here, Rowan. Was that your brother? And Thomas here had two straps. Wow, okay, beautiful. And after that, there's only... Four tier one villages remaining, and now we're heading into tier two. We're building our village town hall, actively working on it. But in order to finish that puppy up there, that real tall steeple, we're going to need thatch. In order to create thatch, we need a farm. I have a farm set up here, but as I mentioned before, if we keep recruiting people for Hairdeen, uh, everybody's going to start getting even sadder and more mad. So I need to be careful of that and actually recruit people from Padstow. Which means I need to grab a farmer from Padstow so that way they can start digging up the ground and planting wheat and thatch and other materials that'll push us into the Tier 2 realm. So Roan, for now, you can go do your own thing. 
Because I have to wait for uh, Ben Dover to wake up, and then I'm going to take his stuff and put it on our new guy, who's actually really good at fighting as well, and take him over to the Tier 2 town and see what we can't get done. I'm going to go ahead and throw a little fish on here, a little smoked fish for myself. Don't mind if I do. And I think I'm going to work on some better armor for everybody. It just makes sense, right? Reduce the damage incoming. And I also think I'm going to queue up a couple of shields, because if I can give shields to my two frontliners, I think that'd be extremely beneficial, just so they can tank a few more shots, block a few arrows from distance. It just kind of makes sense. And believe it or not, Ben, the guy that got knocked out, has a high enough level farming to get done what we need to do, so yeah, it actually makes sense to leave him home for tomorrow's war. Someone just stole my smoked fish that I just threw on the campfire, and I'm pretty sure they're gonna eat it. God damn it. If you're not allowed to camp your food, they just eat it, man. That's what they do. I'm over here gathering a little bit of copper to make a hoe. I'm gonna give that to Ben, because he's a hoe. And here we go. Ho has been acquired. I'm going to till it myself because everybody just went to bed. I always work through the nights. I find it completely useless to go to bed in this game. You just kind of run out of time and all your food spoils. But in the morning, Ben should be taking this over and starting to plant a few different things. The thing is, we need wheat. And I need to figure out where to find wheat seeds. And as I had mentioned before, if we look super far south, there's an old wheat field south of Padstow. So I might actually make my way over there after we take on the Tier 2 village and see what we can't find. But I'm finally, uh, I'm glad that we have some farms up and running. It's going to be good. What I should do is probably check some of the traders every time I head into town and see if they're selling any seeds, but let's go to war. There's the Tier 2 village. The first one that I've ever done. I had an army of three. Luckily, everybody had a good night's sleep. Don't mind my bald head through my new helmet. News from the kingdom. We got double There's archers, shield, front line, and I don't know. We'll see how this is going to go. I don't know how many people are in here, but they're a lot stronger. And it looks like they have about five people. Okay. All right. I, I'm a little concerned. I'm going to stuff my face full of smoked fish first because that's going to increase my stamina. And then the frontliner, I'm assuming, is going to be fodder and die pretty quickly. I don't want to miss my first shot. That would be embarrassing. Let's see if there's a better front line for us. Do a little flank action. They did just send out two scouts, so their numbers are a little smaller than usual, which is perfect. And they don't look too armored, but that front line big old axe pitchfork guy looks a little scary. And their stats are going to be a little higher than normal because of the tier 2 -age. There we go. Hit my first shot. Everybody, loose. Come on. All right. I'm going to get into the back line here. See if I can't help. I'm fighting the pitchforker. Which is good. Nice. Archer. Beautiful. Overhead. Okay, I just hit my own guy. Come on. Nice. Couple of archers to deal with. Go, 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 go. Block up, block up. Nice. You're in the wrong neighborhood. Boop. Beautiful. And that clearly pissed them off because now I'm going to get raided in the morning. <laughs> oh my gosh. But that's good. Nice, man. My first tier two town. Apprentice book strength. I needed that. Thank you. Stand tall. Oh, did we lose someone? Oh, don't tell me we lost freaking Ben again. No, did Ben just run away because he's out of arrows? Ben. Did I forget to give you these arrows? <laughs> That's fine, though. At least you didn't die. Here you go, Ben. Here's, here's your arrows. You can help me with the We're next town. The all and then let's see what these dumbasses over here had. Robin Cooper just got robbed by my coop. Oh, my God. Harvesting research? Ooh. That looks like a nice juicy pork chop if I've ever seen one. I'm eating that right away. Definitely going to keep raiding these tier twos now just to get that really delicious food. More straps, more smoked fish. Hell yeah. News from the kingdom. There's another chest There's right here we didn't hit. Apprentice book for cooking. My cooking level is actually pretty high. I do enjoy cooking in this game and in other games. 
I have no way to collect water yet and start doing stews, but I'm very close to being able to do that. And we're just getting richer and richer with time. All right, any other chests in this town before we go turn in the quest to Pants now? Nope. And what is this? Move. Garlic. Yep, don't mind if I do. And it looks like the next raid on my village is going to be a Tier 3 raid. That's the first one I've ever gotten, Tier 3. But honestly, I'm feeling pretty confident in my little army right now. So I'm not too worried. Hello, Padstow. I am back. I have defeated the bandits that have been causing you worry for all this time. And now they're going to cause me worry in my own soul. town. So you should probably give me some weapons, a couple of warriors. That would be nice. In the name of Hello, Elder. Elder, okay. hello. How goes the hunt? Did you deal with them already? I did deal with them. I got nice rid of work. them. I'm impressed. A rookie like you taking a on the rookie? Of bandits. You're gonna Take call me a rookie you, just like that? And that gave me trust in Hayardine. I don't even have any trust in Padstow yet, but that's fine. I'm gonna head over to the, the unknown wheat fields because I need wheat seeds. So let's head out to this main road and head uh, south. The farthest south I've ever been. Into the unknown for the first time. That right there looks like it might be the wheat fields, or at least the beginning of it. And I do see bandit flags at it, but I don't see any bandits. So I'm going to go in cautiously, but my soldiers are ready to fight. No big deal. I should be able to ice anybody that's in here. But look at this. Yeah, these are bandit flags, man. And I can't claim them. But you can tell, look at all of this wheat just sitting around here that I can grab. Or this is straw. Oh, but it is wheat. Okay. Nice. Stand tall and fight like hell. So I could just come here and collect a metric boatload of wheat. It may even make sense to place down a little camp here and just have someone actively collect it all for me. Someone's job that's literally just live in the wheat fields. But there are wheat field brigands here? Uh-oh. But I've, uh, I've heard about the brigands. I definitely should not take him on. Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That is, like, tier two, like, high, high tier two armor. And a really good, like, steel axe. That guy will literally two-shot us if we're not careful. So I guess he's here to defend the wheat. Which is pretty wild. It's literally like he's a wheat field brigand. Oh. I didn't anticipate that there would be someone from like the royal army here to defend all this. There is a group of bandits heading down the hill over here too. Oh gosh, this area is hostile. I'm going to grab what I can wheat wise and fill up my guys with it because I need actually like a lot of this. And I also need to hope that one of these pieces of wheat that I grabbed gives me a wheat seed. Because then I can multiply. Come on, give me that wheat seed. Please. And thank you. Maybe. Oh gosh. I might have to pick a lot of wheat. Let's get the wheat home to the families. And then I will return here. Because that brigand is, is on my case. He's on my ass. That's not good. It looks like there's another shrine down here, which might have some loot. So let's deal with these bandits real quick. These are not brigands. They should be a heck of a lot easier to deal with. Oh, gosh. I say that, and then this guy's icing me. Hello, where's my friends? Okay, he hit me with the stabby. The stabby slabby. I'm going to block that one. Yeah, you're down and out now, buddy. That's what I thought. Stay down. Thome Grimhilt, you piece of crap. Let's show them what we're and then here's the little offering area, and there is indeed an offering box. No backing Ooh, down now. berry bread. Hearty spiced meat stew. I'm going to eat that right away. Okay, that was definitely worth it. Hell yeah. Let me go check this other guy real quick. Since we're in the higher level area now, they're going to be dropping some higher level stuff. Is everybody well fed? Here you go. There's a little piece of meat for you to get a little bit of extra on top. Your tummy's full as heck, you tubby boy. It looks like you need a little something something. There's a raw onion for you, Harry. You're welcome. I was also told that the type of weapon does matter. I know there's like stabbing damage, poke damage, blunt damage, and I think blunt damage is best against armor. 
So maybe if we get a whole bunch of blunt weapons, uh, once we hit closer to tier two, we might be able to take on the brigands. I know the brigands have their own affiliation and eventually you can piss off the brigands to the point, I believe, where they attack your camp. And I'm pretty sure the brigands would kill everybody at the moment, but we'll get strong enough to overthrow the royal government eventually. I will become the royal government. It looks like someone has taken up farming. Look, there's some something planted. Someone's planting some stuff and it's growing. Hell yeah. Didn't find any wheat seeds. It didn't seem like that was actually the way to do it. But what wheat does unlock for us is this thresher right here. It requires actually five wheat to research and two rope. So someone will start getting on that sooner rather than later. That thresher is going to allow us to break down wheat into thatch and some other things down into thatch, I believe because we need how much thatch for this puppy? 20 thatch for the roof of this place. They're currently working on the planks and the ropes and everything else for it. They're actually getting dangerously close to having it all done. I did take half of the town with me, but now we can dismiss them and tell them to get back to work in the town. And I'll just scoop them up for the war Curious in the morning when we get attacked. Let's talk of wars and rebels and such. And look at this. Yes, 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 yes. We finally have water. Is it because it rained or something? I don't really know, but if we throw water into this pot here. There we go. Where's the water? Oop, we added water. And then we get a few sticks to light the bowl up. I'm pretty sure people will start using the pot because it seems to prioritize like the best type of food possible. And I believe the cooking pot is going to be the best food possible. Let's see what she's over here planting. It looks like some flax, sage, and hemp. We actually need a lot of hemp, so this is really good. Oh, she has to weed it? Or is she picking the hemp right now? Oh, no, she has to be actively around to weed it. Oh. That's kind of cool. Okay, she's got a whole lot of uh, weedlings queuing. But the problem in the area was actually hemp. We didn't have enough hemp going, so that's pretty good. Actually going to prioritize hemp and flax right now because that's going to be used in all of the upcoming armors as well. And that hemp is also going to be used to create the rope that's going to research the thresher. And that thresher is going to give us the thatch as I mentioned before. So I'm going to work on putting in a whole bunch of stuff here on the building just so when it does come time, thatch is like the last thing that we need. Also, for you people playing, a quick little tip here. I usually don't do, like, tips and tricks and stuff like that, but if you take two pieces of meat that are both, like, equally spoiled, you stack them in your stockpile, take both out. You only have one that's spoiled, the one that was the most spoiled, and then everything underneath it is going to be refreshed. Just a heads up. We're going to need ten wood, which I can start grabbing. A tin ingot and three logs. All right, that's not too bad. I should have some tin laying around as well. And I believe we also researched a composter. Yep, compost pile. We're going to need to go get a little bit of mud using uh, the shovel. That composter, I believe, is just going to give us more benefits towards the farm. So I'm just going to put it right next to the farm. And it looks like the hemp might be ready in the morning. And I might do a little bit of weeding during the night just to help out the camp a little bit. Because as I mentioned before, I work through the night. That's what I do. And the cauldron actually has uh, stock ups and stuff. Oh my god, wait, this is amazing. So we can actually tell them to actively work on mushroom stews and berry jams. So that way, like, our townsfolk actually have, like, decent food to eat. Instead of just shoveling and smoking mushrooms and things like that, we can actually just make the jams. And then I can start to make the fine stews for myself. And it seems like we actually need sage for that. So I think it might be smart to actually manage the farm and tell them to prioritize sage and hemp for clothing. And then obviously if we get wheat seeds, we want them to prioritize wheat as well. I'm almost done with the thresher here. I'm going to go ahead and grab that copper ingot and put the tin in that we need. And I've gathered, okay, you just scared the bejesus out of me. I thought the war came early, but nope. It's just some guards from the town going for a walk. Those royal pieces of garbage. There we 
go. Just slap down all of these sticks. That's a lot of sticks, my boy. Oh, there we go. And I just got a random quest from Amelie. Does she want me to finally overthrow the government and Hayardeen? She might want me to. Let me just wait for this tin ingot real quick. There it is, actually. Boom. Done already. Beautiful. And then let me slap that in here. And now the thresher is complete. And then in the thresher, we can make grains and straw. Beautiful. So with all that wheat I grabbed, I might have to do another quick little wheat run. Or I'm going to make her or someone make 10 straw. And then 10 straw into the weaving basket here. Or the weaver's table, that is. Manage. And then we have them do thatch. And we're going to top off about... And then probably just five thatch. Because how much do we need for the big old roof over here? We need 20 thatch, so we might as well have them make 20. Just like a one-off, not a top-off. And throw that all the way to the top of the priority over the simple cords. And definitely, like I said, another wheat run is going to be in order. I need everybody to wake up. I do not want this big piece of cooked meat to spoil, man. I want to... I want someone to eat it. I can't, unfortunately, but I don't think anybody's going to wake up in time, Satch. The kitty cat came into my little village. Hi, buddy. Yeah, you want to live here, huh? That stinky old village up there isn't for you, is it? This place is so much cooler. I wish I could adopt them. Do you want a fat piece of meat? Can I give you meat, please? I have a giant piece of, like, bison meat, and I have no one to give it to. I would rather give it to you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. I need my soldiers to be eating good. So, Harry, you're going to actually take this. Oh, my God. I didn't spoil yet. Eat it quick. You got some really good food there. We got a couple of mushroom stews going here shortly as well. And Rowan, I'm going to give you some really good t food, too. Here's berry and a small piece of smoked meat. And last but not least, hello, Mr. Ben. Oh, you already went and shoveled your face full of mushrooms. Okay, I guess you just like mushrooms a lot, dude. And she's researching a new pair of pants because nobody in this village has good pants. And I want to see if we can make a few of them before the village gets attacked. Even I have crappy pants. Those Wanderer's Pants are actually simple cords and pelts. I'm going to schedule up maybe three of those, four of those. And somebody will get on that. That's going to be 16 simple cords, though. Which is quite a bit, because cords do use flax. Actually, no, that's not even that much. I'm going to go ahead and just top them up to 20, because we are using a lot more simple cords now. And then for the secondary research, I think... I'm going to go the route of gloves because, again, nobody in the village has good gloves. I don't even wear gloves right now, so that's just open inventory room for better armor. And what are you doing over here? Is this our level three? Yeah, that's Ben Durham, so he's actually already starting to make straw. Hell yeah, Ben. Keep it up, dude. You're, uh, you're a good one. Because I actually had a whole bunch of wheat on these guys from our little adventure. And now that they've woken up, they're actually going to uh, throw it in here and start threshing it down. Lubomir's going to grab the straw and start breaking that down into the thatch and then start working on the roof of the house. And that's going to push us into tier two, which is going to allow us to actually start overthrowing governments. Which is my ultimate goal. I want to become the king, the lord of this whole region. Although, I want them to call me King Godboard. That's probably the best. If they don't kill me... If they don't call me King Godlord, then I would kill them. Or they'll kill me. New pants acquired. Look at these puppies. These studded pants. Looking like MJ. Beautiful. Got a little bit more armor before we get attacked. And then I'm going to have them prioritize planks. Rope. 
and the thatch, of course. Well, I work on the logs. Look at that. I haven't seen someone whip out the hammer and start smacking before, but Ben's on it, man. They're starting to put some of the cross beams on. I'm giving him more logs to work with, slowly but surely. We only need 20 more planks as well. I don't think we're at the plank step yet, but we're getting there. And this is the final two logs for the village hall. All the other logs now are going to go into plank making. Yeah, get that get that board up. You do that, lube me. Lube it up, lube up the house. There we go, logs. Now a little bit of rope, wooden planks, and thatch. Not too bad. I also need to go on an adventure for a little bit of hemp, but the problem is I think we're going to be attacked here momentarily. So let me call the arms, make sure everybody has food in them, Ben, Harry, and Roan. Come on over here. I'm going to put you right here, although I'm not 100% sure where we're going to get attacked from today. And luckily I called them in because I think Roan was all the way out there gathering the, the food traps. How are you doing on food? All right, you need some food. You need some food. God darn, I'm glad I called them over. Because I do believe this berry jam should be done shortly, and I can feed that to them. And Harry, how are you doing? Oh, you're good. You smashed a berry jam and a small smoked meat. Beautiful. Okay, Roan, you're my homie, so you're going to get a piece of smoked meat. Berry jam is now just finishing. I'm going to grab both. Roan, you Still are going to get a berry jam. Like ben, you are also going to get a Need berry jam. There's always something. And you guys chill. Oh, look at that timing. I was going to say, now I'm just going to chill and let them sit there until we get attacked. But it looks like I was way ahead of it. And they are coming from very far south from the other tier one village. So I'm going to head that way and try to meet them in the field. So come with me, guys. Let's go. I have my bow on me, I got my sword, I got everything, I'm ready to rock and roll. And one thing that I found out about this game is kind of time management is pretty important. Um, if you're going to attack and raid a whole bunch of camps, you should do it in all one big sweep, so then you defend. Um, and if you're about to be attacked the next day, it's actually the best time to go attack more villages, so that way you don't increase your percent chance of getting attacked on the next day, if that makes any sense. So after this war, it's probably a really good time to start questing. And that questing is obviously going to increase how much the towns like me to allow me to recruit even stronger people. And it will also, pretty soon in Hayardeen, I'm going to be able to recruit like blacksmiths specifically, like expert blacksmiths and expert farmers and people experts in their different regions of work so that way I can actually have some really good workers instead of like a whole bunch of halfway, you know, mediocre workers. But I need to do a few more quests, but luckily Amelie in the town has asked for some help to uh, work with people. How and it says Harry feels here? disgruntled? Harry? Which Harry? Harry Hud? I got two Harrys working with me. Oh, they're back in town. I don't give a crap what they're disgruntled about. They need to just keep working. And there's the army right there, so I'm going to go ahead and line up my soldiers no. right here. Go, 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 go. The army grows stronger. I'm going to loose the first arrow just to get action rocking. There we go. Maybe try to take out the archer in the back first. Yep, archer in the back's dead. All of these guys have shields. The tier 3 is a little bit stronger, it looks like. Let me get into this. Yep, that arrow got him. Nice, right in the back. And headshot. Good job, boys. Wow, that was clean. Ernest Hobb is down and out. We got some smoked meat. So we got some food for going to battle. And a little bit of rope. I actually needed that. Beautiful. And some uh, money. Don't mind if I do. And a little bit of berry jam. Um, can you guys come with me? I don't know what this is. I haven't been here before. Is this like a small little town of some kind? Is this abandoned? What is this? 
Oh no, there's some traders and stuff here. Hi guys, what do you sell? Greetings. He's an innkeeper. Okay, I'm not really trying to sleep there tonight. Okay, it's like a small little town. Find where's the fair price. And what are you selling? Oh, some smoked fish spices. First time I've actually seen spices. And he buys some food. Okay, I wonder if spices in the future are obviously going to be used to craft some of the crazier stuff. Mind your business. We know to be. How's that new weapon treating you? Okay, that's cool. I like how you can just kind of run across these little towns that are all set up for trades and a few other things. They seem to be like kind of just like a halfway area between a couple of different cities. And I would go take on that bandit camp that just attacked me, but like I mentioned before, that's going to increase our bandit standing. And what I would rather do is actually go and attack like three different camps at the same time. Instead of just like attacking one now. I'm also going to grab a little bit of this garlic because we can make like stews and stuff now. This garlic is going to be useful there. And then just a quick trip into the woods for some hemp. I am going to just dismiss these guys and they'll run home on their own. There you go. They'll also collect some stuff on the way back. And look at that. There's some hemp right here. This is going to be used to make the rope to make village hall. And it looks like, actually, the hemp seeds and the hemp on the left there is getting gathered, I believe. And that means our farm fully grew. And she just collected six hemp off of that. Oh my god, wow, okay. We're getting a lot quicker when it comes to the rope. And since I'm out here, actually, let's go scoop up some of that wheat. Because I need a lot more of that. No, there's a little bit of a bandit posse. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh, that's not good. There's firing arrows at me. I can't take on a group of three by myself. Oh, and there's another three next to me. There's six coming at me right now. Go, 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 go. Let's just scoot. Let's scoot. Let's scoot, skedaddle, skaboot, and get the, the heck out of here. I just dismissed all my soldiers because I was like, I'm just going to go gather some wheat, no problem. And then we get attacked. Uh, it looks like there might only be one that decided to come over? Are they giving up now, though? Or do they just not like running down hills? I think they just don't like running down hills. Goodbye. Alright, two more banditos in front of me to avoid. And then, obviously, we want to not attract the brigands to attack us on the wheat fields. And I just want to steal as much wheat as my pockets can hold. We need this to make straw into thatch for the roof of my village hall. And, oh, what the hell? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Never mind. I think I kind of lucked out last time with only one brigand being there. I might have to show up at night. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I think I need to show up at night when they're all sleeping. There was only one brigand here before. Did they all, like, leave? Oh gosh. Ha, 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 ha. Never mind, I won't touch your wheat. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna check some of the traders on the way back and see if there's any wheat seeds I can can buy because I don't think I'm gonna be able to steal wheat from there anymore. But I assume that's like the wheat supply for like maybe the major royal cities, right? And that's why the brigands are in there defending it. Literally, specifically just told to kill anybody that tries to steal the wheat. Which is absolutely crazy and evil. But I get it. I think if someone tried to come into my little area where I was growing wheat, I'd probably kill them as well. And I believe this guy right here, as well as another trader just through the woods, does farm and he's like an herbalist and stuff, so... I wonder if these guys are actively selling wheat seeds because then I can start multiplying it in like my own town. And it seemed like once they picked, you know, the first set of hemp, they got hemp seeds in return. So as long as we like farm. I'm a professional in crafting web. But essentially, yeah, as long as I farm the, uh, the wheat from my own farm, I should be able to get the seeds from it to replant them. This guy's got five rope. But I have a bunch of hemp on me, but this will speed up the process. And I have a lot of money, so I might as well buy a bunch from him. 
And then just over here, Alex is the herbalist, as I mentioned before. And there was another herbalist up on a hill somewhere that I could go check out as well. But this guy, I believe, is the closest herbalist. As long as he hasn't gone to sleep yet, I can see if he's selling wheat seeds. He hasn't fell asleep. Hello. Please, don't go to bed yet. Don't go to bed. I need to see if you have wheat seeds, sir. Hello, hello, hello. There we go. Look like someone in a How's hurry. it going? Something happened. Let's see. Potato seeds, garlic seeds, hemp seeds, cotton seeds, flax seeds, onion seeds. You have everything. Everything besides wheat seeds, huh? But that's good to know that he actually has all this stuff. So potato, garlic, beet, sage, hemp, mushroom stews, cotton, onion, and radishes. I mean, once we get more recipes that require these things, I'm definitely going to come over here. But at the moment, none of these things are completely required because I don't have, like, tier 2 cooking yet. Once I have, like, a full-blown cooking house, uh, I, or, like, whatever comes next, I think that's the guy I'm going to go to to buy all the seeds and then plant them all. But that means we might have to take a trip to some of these newer towns to try to find wheat. Because I just don't have enough wheat to make the thatch roof yet, unfortunately. There is another farm up on this hill that I can go check in the morning once everybody wakes up, though. The family farm. Let's see if they have wheat seeds or not. But look at the rafters coming in on the village hall now, and they started to put the planks on in the back. Starting to really come together beautifully. There we go. There's a bunch of rope. And then let me see if they have a few planks ready to go or not. I can move them over for them. Doesn't look like they do, but let me grab this log and just make the planks real quick. And here we go. It's another six planks to throw onto the main hut. Look at this place. Oh my god. I love to see the progression in this game. Um, just seeing the houses go up and things like that. They're going to make two more ropes and two more wooden planks. And what I'm going to actually do, instead of checking out the family farm first, I'm going to spend the night running all the way to Bradford. And see what's going on in that city, because I've never been there, and maybe they're like a higher tier city, because there are level 3 bandit camps around there, and maybe they'll sell wheat seeds, or, I mean, maybe even the thatch we're looking for, because it seems like the wheat seeds are the most elusive thing at the moment. Over the river and through the woods to Bradford we go. And it does say that this is level 3 Evergreen Hinterland. So yeah, Bradford might have everything we're looking for and more. And it also seems like traveling at night is the best way to go. I haven't seen a single bandit. Everybody's sleeping. Looks like there's actually a trader outside of Bradford. I believe this is a trader. And he might be like an herbsman, planter, cedar guy as well. Yeah, it's also an herbalist hut. Can I just like wake him up? Hey, Hello dumbass. There. Okay, yeah, I can just wake him up. Okay. Sage, flax, potato, beetroot. You have all the same stuff that the last person had. I'm actually going to scoop a mushroom stew from you, even though it's pretty expensive. So, like, do the brigands just own, like, the whole wheat production? And there's absolutely no way for me to buy wheat seeds? Is it, like, contraband or something? What the hell is going on? Well, it looks like Bradford's in the mountains. Look at this. They're like surrounded by a natural wall, it looks like. I'm gonna head up and in from the side here. Bradford looks a little bit like Hayardine. It looks a lot bigger than Padstow. And everybody should be waking up very shortly. Who the heck's drying their clothes in the trees? Look at that. What the hell? That's crazy. That's crazy talk. Everybody's awake and looks like winter is here as well. In this Hello, Phoebe. Village, we're like a pack of wool. Come and see me once we've had the chance to get to oh, know wow. you. Wow, crafting, harvesting. These people are actually a little bit stronger than the people on the other side of the valley. 
But what I want is traders. Who's trading? Hello there. What's going on, Robin? On the roads. What's in stock today? Pelts, hides, fur, and... Ooh, actually, like, a good chunk of really strong meat. Not too worried about that right now. Don't try anything stupid. But it does actually look like Bradford is really big and has some really good people. Eventually, we'll work on the Renown here to poach some people. But at the moment, man, I think we need to just sneak into the wheat fields outside of Padstow and just keep stealing from that. I think that's our best bet at this point. I don't think anybody's actually going to be selling wheat seeds anytime soon. All right, here goes nothing. I'm going to try to steal some wheat. Uh, what I'm thinking is that probably what's going to end up happening is that once I get this wheat and I can get my town hall going, I'd be able to actually start on tier 2 items. And once I can start on tier 2 items... There's a brigand right there. Once I can get tier 2 items, I can at least equip like a good army with the tier 2s. And then once they have the tier twos, I might be able to get five or six guys over here to actually take on the brigands for the first time. Because I I'm gonna I want to say they're they're tier three, which is really scary. And I know for a fact that they can just about one shot me and any of my people because they're like royal guards. They have like the power of the government behind them. And it looks like the brigands actually attack bandits, which gives me a perfect opening to get in here and start stealing some some wheat without them noticing. Oh, I can't grab it in the winter. No, really? It's unharvestable in the winter. That is so unfortunate. Is there any way that I might be able to run into the silo without them seeing me? Okay, wait, this might end terribly. I have a lot of stamina right now, though, but I might be able to sneak. Maybe they have, like, a... a crate or something in here that I can steal seeds from? What about these crates? Loot? Kill all the guards to get the loot? <gasps> oh, oh god. And one of them just aggroed me. Run, 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 run. No, no, no. <laughs> I have to come back after winter's over and try to steal a bunch of wheat for my roof. And then once we kill all the guards, I think we can loot those crates, and then that's when we'll be able to get wheat seeds and claim this as my own, and I just have unlimited wheat and unlimited power. I will be back, you sons of bitches. That's going to wrap up today's episode. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. We will get the village hall done next time. So far, we survived 25 days in the game. If you want to see the whole journey, there'll be a playlist link down below. If you made it this far into the video, clearly you enjoy my content, and I recommend you subscribe and give this video a little bit of interaction with either a comment, a like, or both. It helps the channel tremendously and gets more people in here to keep the series going even longer. Again, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you tomorrow.